So what we're going to do now is we are going to learn how to use our pencil. Okay, so I've laid this out for you before, the way the graphite pencils work, but I don't know that I was clear enough, so I just want to clarify. Um, the higher the number, okay, so we have on this side 2H, 4H, a 4H would be a harder lead than a 2H, which would mean it is lighter than the 2H. It's, a 4H is so light that we wouldn't, if we were using it the right way, we wouldn't even see it, okay? Um, and then with the Bs, the higher the number, the blacker it is. So I wanted to specify that. So we're gonna create a menu of values along the top here. You're not gonna have all this stuff on your paper. Um, but this is where we really get to get the sense of how the pencils work. The, the thing that I always say about drawing is that drawing is really about um, two things. It's don't draw what isn't there and touch, okay? The amount of pressure that you're putting down on something. And so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna learn with what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna start with the HB pencil and you can see that I've got it sharpened so that there's a lot of the lead exposed. A regular little handheld pencil sharpener probably isn't gonna do that. And I'm gonna use a single direction stroke using the side of the lead Going back and forth. And when you have a set of strokes, all going the same direction, that is called hatching. So you might be able to see that there's a little bit of the tooth of the paper showing up here. Um, but we don't see the space in between the strokes. Like we're not, we're not seeing that. Okay, so it's a solid value, right? So we're going to label this H, B, side, hatch. So that you'll know what value um, well, what you did to get this value, because you're going to maybe need to refer to it later. Then we're going to go on top of this, changing direction. Still using the side. By changing direction, you can see that we get a shade darker. So that would be HB side crosshatch. So using the side, you get to see some of that uh, texture of the paper, but if you use the point and you don't add any more pressure onto this, you're just using the point, you're going to see that it's going to be darker. So as long as you're all going the same direction, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get fluctuations in the value when you're changing direction, provided you're giving it the same amount of pressure. Now, why the point is darker is because you're working out that grain, the texture, the tooth of the paper, right? We talked about before. So that's HB point hatch. And then HB point crosshatch. So you can see um, if we have one pencil, the HB, and we're getting four values out of that one pencil, then with four pencils, right, 
you're going to be able to get 16 values. Um, we're actually going to get 17 values because there's going to be an extra value in there. And we'll talk about that in a second. Now notice I didn't start with a 2H pencil, and there's a reason for that. Now I'm moving up to the to the 2B, okay? And this is gonna be 2B. Side hatch, so that you can see it's a little bit darker than the HB. The, I've got a bunch of different brands of pencils in here because, you know, things happen with the pencils and they get replaced and traded and all kinds of stuff in a classroom. It's probably why it's a good thing we're, we're all isolating because people are always touching other things. Anyway, this brand pencil is the a Blick Studio pencil and it's not that great. Another brand a pencil that is not that great, or any, if anything they make is not that great, is uh, what you buy at Michael's called Artist Loft. That's usually pretty substandard, so um, don't buy that if you bought it already. Then you'll really value the better tools once you get them. So we have our 2B side hatch, 2B side cross hatch. Okay, and then we'll do the point as well. This looks a lot like HP, that's why, that's why this pencil is not so great. I wonder if I have a better one. behaving like a harder lead, that's why I'm not crazy about it. A little darker. Okay, so to be point. Patch. And to be point. Cross hatch. All right, 6B, okay, now 6B is going to be, like I said, it's a really soft lead. So when you see the 6B, and it goes on, you know, using the side fairly light, the other thing you'll notice is that the texture, the, the tooth of the paper seems to show up more. Good idea, by the way, while you're hatching, to rotate your pencil. It, it helps to keep it sharp. So you can see the texture that's kind of showing up there. So 6B, side hatch, 6B, side. Crosshatch. Now, um, before I get to the, this, we're going to use this for the 17th value, but before I do that, I'm going to show you the 2H. And you're going to just have to trust me on this as I do it. Hopefully the mic is picking up the sound here. So you can hear that the pencil's going back and forth on the paper. This is a very, 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 very light value. 
it's a step above white. Okay. So you're going to have things in your photograph that are going to be that step above white. And so you're going to need to have that very light value. And then cross hatching. So it's very, very, very subtle. So we have, what is this, 2H side hatch, 2H side cross hatch. Now the thing about these hard pencils is when I'm in class with you guys, what I'll do is I'll sit down uh, in your chair a lot of times to help you and I'll, I'll hold out my hand and that means I want you to give me your pencil, which I'm gonna, that's gonna be a hard habit to break. Um, and a lot of times students will hand me a 2H pencil and it's because the students just grab the sharpest pencil in their box when they're drawing. They don't look to see what value it is. Um, and so uh, they just look to see what the sharpest one is. And the 2, 2H is always going to be the sharpest because it's a hard lead, right? So it's, it's you know, so, uh, and then I, what I like to do is uh, when they do that, I like to fling it across the room because you rarely should be using this pencil. Uh, I, I really hesitate putting it on the materials list. It's, 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 it's something that really is not necessary most of the time. Oh, and I didn't do the point. I may as well do it. The trick also is going to be when you're selecting the, which pencil to use, you always want to use the softest lead you can get away with. So putting down a lot of hard material is not a good idea. Like if I was filling up a whole square with that and then I had to draw on top of it, um, That would make it, it would be like drawing on top of glass with a pencil. It's, it just doesn't work. So if you can avoid putting this down, that's always, uh, um, that's preferable. Okay. Sometimes you want, you can take a hard lead on top of a soft lead. Let's do it on top of here. And what that does is it helps to work out some of that grain and gets a smoother value, okay? That's pretty cool. That's a good thing to know. You're gonna wanna know that. Okay, so I've got my 16 values here. I've got four for my 2H, I got four for my HB, I got four for my 2B, and oh, I didn't do the uh, points for the 6B. I got, we'll make four for the 6B. So using the point, the thing about the 6B is that it gets dull really fast. Soft leads go dull fast, especially if you're using the point. So now we have the four. So 16 total values that we're going to have to refer to. But there's going to be one more value, okay, the 17th value, okay, and that is going to be the 6B circular stroke. And that goes like this, little tight circles. You can see by doing that, you're working out the grain or the tooth of the paper. and you're getting your, your blackest black. Blackest black we're gonna be using. You can go up, um, if you go to the art supply store and get you know an 8B graphite pencil, that, that is really black. Um, and it used to be, back in the day, we used to have an art supply store in the valley called Continental Art Supply. 
and they would have a little sign warning you that the 8B graphite pencil was permanent. That means you couldn't erase it once it was down. That's how dark it is, okay? But that black is going to be sufficient for what we're gonna be doing. What I find is that if students are trying to use the, um, the, uh, the 8B and trying to work that value into everything else, it tends to be disjunctive. That means it stands out, okay? All right, so those are your values, your menu of values along the top. If you wanna do the menu of values on another sheet of paper, that's fine. Um, you don't wanna spoil your presentation, that's okay, but I don't really look at this as spoiling the presentation. Um, we're gonna be dealing with this. The idea is if, if this drawing really turned out and you were gonna save it, what you would do is you would frame it, right? So you would you would put a mat that would come around here about three inches probably would be the best thing. And so you'd have to cut the paper down and then you would have this a, a mat, which is like a paper frame that would come around this. So um, this wouldn't be an issue. But this is really important for you to get that sense of um, what is possible with the pencils. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to be doing, final step to this drawing that will, you know, take a fair amount of time, but, um, and I'm going to show you, I'm probably going to jump around in my demonstration, but um, you'll get to see exactly how this, this, this drawing is going to work.